What's up, guys? This is the Braveman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, uh, well, after we have so heroically uh, held off the Persian forces, we are now going to attack the capital of Esfahan ourselves and bring it into our empire. Shouldn't have any trouble with these forces. They have one set of artillery, it's just a set of foot artillery, and a whole bunch of cavalry. But let us attack the city of Esfahan. So this territory's got two universities, so we'll definitely want to knock them both down to help spread the word of our lords and also to prevent the Persians from uh, realising how terrible it is to be ruled by a foreign power. We've got to keep them nice and smooth and here, give them some uh, some taverns and so on. It's the way, it's a bit ironic really in this game where it's, uh, you know, oh, the lower classes and everyone seem a bit unhappy. You know what? Give them a pub. They'll be all right. They'll soon forget that. <clears throat> anyway, let's get our troops deployed. I'm gonna. So we're definitely gonna want to quick climb the center because the center is gonna be jam packed with cavalry. Oh, I forgot an artillery unit. I forgot a howitzer unit, no less. Very well. We are going to attack head on. No flanking and so on to go this time. I'm just going to spread out desert warriors on the right. Split my shooty and non-shooty cavalry because I can't trust myself to not kill my own my own men. Excellent. So. Oh, it's the attack ground. Did we, did we get them before they fired? We might have done. Well, look at all this. It's probably better off. I'm probably better off to attack, actually. Give them orders to attack. But yes, that's a lot of enemy cavalry that's not going to do anything except sit in the center. Whereas, I mean, look. So this is the thing with this style of walls, personally is that they allow for far too many breaches. The squares, the square is useful compared to the, the European star fort, I think. But in terms of attacking it, attacking these things is child's play. Then again, it's easier to defend because you've got such a wide open area. You can deploy your kill boxes quite effectively inside the walls, personally. Another salvo from a foot artillery. Or Bashi. Try and redeploy. I want to see my howitzers fire again. Ironically, because none of them are. Well, they have no experience. It should all finish at the, si at the same time. So here comes the quick line again. Actually, to be honest, I should just give them an order to attack the middle. I generally prefer to try... Oh, I suppose it's a... Actually, it's a... Right. Quicklime problem. I should have realised that sooner rather than later. Switch to round shot. The rate of fire will increase and still do quite a good amount of damage. Because firing special shot does take longer. So I just want to see a salvo of how it's fired get going. Come on. First few guns are fired. Ultimately, even if they miss a little bit. Oh no, they're... No, they're attacking the wrong things. They're attacking here. For God's sake. I think it's because I must have given orders during... While I've sped the time up. Because they're definitely within range of the center. I mean, my foot artillery can just engage as they choose. Yeah, look, so they're doing it again. They're attacking. Hmm. Mighty strange. Never mind. 
we will ultimately work on this section of the wall as well. It's doing damage to my gunners, but fortunately it's just my gun, my, uh, very, my uh, horse-drawn limbers. Focus on another breach. Bounce fire inbound, as it can hit what I want them to hit. Doesn't look like it. Very curious. In which case, then keep attack ground attacking the ground there. What else am I going to want to do? Well, I may as well push. this set of troops forward. Let's make them run. This wing can advance up slowly and with caution. See, and there's not, yeah, so they're attacking ground the way they're supposed to. strange. We should be doing a real number on all this, all these mounted troops, even round shot, because that's a lot of guys they kill. Those round shots do on the way in. It's very odd. Human breach. Now they're doing it. Like that. That's, a, that's one hit. That was a real... That's a real good amount of damage. Not overly bothered about if they try and reinforce... Or if they try and sally out of the breach. That's not going to be a problem. Let's more overtly... Contain them. We'll be able to knock down this section of the wall soon, then we'll probably aim for this one here. You know, I'm just curious if they will attempt to deploy men off the walls, because they really don't seem to want to. I'm happy to keep picking off the odd camel rider. Move up a colonial line unit. They will storm the gate. And these units, their job is to provide a threat against the walls over here. But I will push an infantry unit in to begin attacking the mercenaries here to see if we can force a redeployment. If foot artillery can re-engage... Oh, we've got a, someone's wavering. A Sipahi unit, they're down to 22 men. Good. Oh, 51% right off the bat. Well, you're going to discharge your volleys and when you've fired all your shots one more to go charge in send and bring up a regiment of foot in reserve let's see if we can force them to deploy against us because it looks like they don't really want to Kizobashi aren't terrible. 
I might bring in a second unit. So I'd like to secure this corner. Here we go. Try push my African infantry guards in. Keep my howitzers attacking the center. this one bit. Okay, so this is a bit weird, but I'm going to deploy both my infantry units into square. No, you guys don't need to, don't need to do that. That's only levy units, no. Infantry, don't go over there. One more volley from my foot artillery will be enough to destroy the gates. But yeah, if I deploy into squares... We'll do lots of damage to these chaps coming in to attack us. Come on, African infantry guards. It's a unit of Levy and a unit of Felaeen. They're a bit of a concern, but not a massive challenge. The dervishes should be attacking us. Form square again. Should really bring my general up to this combat. Hold your square formations. Sending in more levy units. Okay, right. One of our native African units has routed. Keep attacking. Bring up our melee cavalry. Unsurprisingly, really, these fellows routed. So let's... The other African unit route, even they haven't really done much. Okay, my attack in the centre has failed. Switch to quick climb and get my men to engage the breach with quick climb. My cavalry are advancing. How it's as a t uh, um, attacking the ground rather than any particular units. That's exactly what they're doing. I'm attacking ground ahead of my troops, not attacking any particular unit in combat. So we're going to be very careful if I elect to advance. Attack the Feleen. Did the African unit come back? It did. Advance them up. Camels are shattered. These units are okay. To be honest, there's no one really to stop us. So these units get orders to push in. Pull my infantry back. <laughs> yeah, that attack really didn't work out. So the infantry just fire by rank into the breach. Howitzers just clear out the enemy. To be honest, they can probably switch to round shot. Send my cavalry in first. My other infantry is storming in past the, inf past the infantry that are upsetting them. One unit will tangle with the Israeli. My African infantry guards get in to provide a bit of support. You guys want to push in to really to support the camels or to help counter the camels.
And the Sereli getting us into trouble because we might engage the corner. This cavalry unit can enter through the breach. So focus the camel gunners. They're the ones we want to kill because they're the ones that can do the most damage to my own cavalry. I mean, this is generally quite a bad idea. And my general's here to provide cover for my infantry. There we go, the cavalry's going to break through. There's one unit of Israeli left. Chevrolet Leger, a fire it will off. They'll engage the camel nomads in, this, in the front. Well, they're remaining on the point. Push these infantrymen through to begin engaging center. You're getting, a lot of these fellows are getting held up, but that's okay, keep fighting. African infantry guards be dispatched to engage the Israeli in the rear. Cavalry just keep engaging the enemy. Yeah, we've got reinforcements coming in, but we don't really need them. Okay, Chevrolet Leger get into position, fire at will on. The artillery still slams home. Wavering from fire of 18 musketeers. Interesting decision. Seamen make ready and fire at the 26th. Okay, the African infantry charge into the rear of the 5th. Powers has attack the Kizobashi. Cavalry just go out wide. Oh, yeah, okay, you meant fire it will. Such good fire. Break, you devils. Break. How long can you put up with such punishment? My cavalry may take some fire, but that's fine. Do not need them anymore, really. There we go. Persians have broken. Everyone except this unit up on the wall that is now trapped. But they have surrendered as well. Swarm in. Excellent. So they gave us a bit of a fight, which is fair enough. That's always going to have a bit of excitement. And that is a significant blow to the Persian Empire. So let's get all of these buildings repaired. Get the army replenished. Get all these other troops the nearby replenished, especially you, Sigismund. We're manoeuvring people in position. You, you're you going to stay where you are, because I want you to try and get north of the enemy here. Just to force them east. You're storming in, but there's only so much you can do. get you onto this highway. So, we've got a modern university here, which we're going to get rid of, and there's another one here at Tehran, which we're, which we're going to get rid of. That'll get us to minus seven. And then the repaired buildings will probably get us the other distance. Let's get build a religious building. I don't think there's any others. Steam engine factories and so on. So let's get this spy into Kabul, because he's the first one there. This spy get into Zahedan. So because we're going to build a religious building here, my agent will push on to Zahedan. It's 
to build a commercial port. Yeah, all these troops have orders to keep on pushing forward. So let's keep all of the fancy upgrades going. You've still got orders to drive through this part of the world. Give you an order to advance to Srinagar. Up here in the north. Fleet is gathering. Yeah, putting fifth rates. They will all hold position until their until their ships are ready. You're also going to St. Petersburg, as are you. Because these men are all going to amphibiously assault India. I mean, these these light guys aren't super useful. Let's, I might just get rid of them. Had lots of good upgrades here in Sweden and Norway. Keep on upgrading. So we've got so very much a surplus of cash at the moment. So let's keep stacking that deck. don't really need those but whatever in the americas okay, i'm not super bothered about the americas i mean we have landed in the north make sure you are replenishing mr eisler which you are got this force up here in agwitok so there's another army hidden somewhere they've there's no way there's no garrison troops there upgrade the spice plantation so jonas frankfurter you're gonna get over to Demerara, probably attack San Jose. That won't destroy the pirates, but it'll go some way to doing that. Let's upgrade the fishery. Good. Then you are almost well you are ready actually. Let's take a light galley around. I'm sure Chris Traeger will be able to leave Cagliari, and they have. So diplomacy. Lights of St. John, Protectorates of Mysore, declare war. So my fleet, bottle up their fleet. My army cannot attack, but they can land troops. Good, and then this ship will loiter. I don't think you're needed anywhere. Well, maybe occupy Takia just to make sure. But in general... Oh, he's a religious agent. Just give them an order to run all the way to central India. They may or may not get there, and that's okay. It's just about giving them something to aim for. Oh, there's another one here at the seminary. give you an order to run to Calcutta. Yeah, the roads in Esfahan are in top condition. Let's push you forward out of the way just to give... I mean, this agent's going to take the long way around regardless, but that's okay. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of firepower is on the way towards the Persian front. So, we don't need to worry about tech. Both those universities are going to be destroyed. <laughs> so many armies well that's a garrison force for Taki to try and see if we can move the army out of Dagestan uh, you're going to attack my poor old ship outside of Boston Harbour oh, they're getting ready to push not much movement from Persia. Here's the native army, the Inuit. Uh, yes, we will intercept. We will force them to attack us. 
We're going to set up, destroy them. We'll push back the garrison, and then next turn we will effectively auto-resolve the capture of the territory. So let's get set up. The native troops really shouldn't have much... We shouldn't really be able to threaten this very much. We have advanced infantry and very advanced artillery. So you deploy on the defensive and just let them come at us. And then I've got my fusiliers and some grenadiers. Good. Let's deploy my Jaeger up front of my artillery. They can deploy stakes. Then the cavalry just uh, hunker down. The enemy going to blow themselves to pieces in front of our artillery. Play stakes. Oh, it's the enemy garrison. So all my cavalry come over to defeat the threat. Then when people have placed stakes, you maybe deploy up ahead in the that zone there. Hey, I accidentally right clicked on them. So we know we've got enemy bowmen coming in. There they are. My horse guards are going to make short work of you. The units that are visible are just getting shot to pieces. Yeah, my men are winded by the heavy cavalry against native bowmen. Defense is very low. Melee skill is not the best. That poor unit of mounted tribal gunners. There's only six of them when they started. They will storm through, kill the reinforcements. They're not free up our cavalry. Whoa! See, look at that. That almost went really badly wrong. These layers have about faced. So my artillery, my cavalry, just form up and try and get some breath back. Here's some of the enemy. of warrior society here they come switch to cast a shot focus on the center that might have been it actually for the reinforcements coming in Blast them with canister. Warrior society are already breaking. Bring the cavalry back. Get my grenadiers back. Get my skirmishes up. Oh, that's not going to be good. Them hitting those fusiliers. As soon as these guys are in combat, run away. Push forward. My gunners, yeah. My gunners are upset, but I don't really care about them. Push forward. Come on, 
restore my cavalry in. Grenadiers attack in the center. General hold ground. Yeah, see, we're holding the line quite well. Send in my Bow Dragoons, Horse Guards. Yeah, there we go. Warrior Society shattered, Warrior Society routing. Yeah, some of my infantry are broken, but that's okay. Toggle Light Infantry behavior for you guys. Warrior Society there, human charge in, cavalry just storm along the line. Storm, storm, storm. Excellent. Actually, you push forward into those guys as well. There you go, smash in. Hit in the back of the medicine men. Enemy are routed over here. Form up a front rank. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Look, see, they're making our men waver, but then suddenly, here I see air! Couple ammo! They're confident. Get you men over here against the medicine men. You men go for the chief's bodyguard. Take out the chief. You men break the medicine men. The 86 spin around and attack the centre here. Although, looks like they too have had enough of the engagement. They're broken and shattered. Go for the chief's bodyguard. So I might have been a bit cocky at the start of this. <laughs> but I was never really overly worried because you've got a lot of really good cavalry. It's not a problem. Killed their chief. Nice. Heroic victory. So we had a cannon foot artillery unit that routed, but they are not gone. They're probably going to auto resolve taking the city. We are not going to accept peace. Ooh, we're being attacked by the garrison of Valletta. Yes, please. So a whole bunch of line infantry plus very little of anything else. I fear these will be two battles that will be wrapped up fairly succinctly so let's get to it at least there'll be two more factions removed from the game i mean my artillery is not that's probably the best position they're likely to get but what i want to do considering the enemy's weakness is say we're going to storm the hill. Ooh, Freikor, fire it will off and mix you up with some cuirassier. Light horse and cuirassier edge taxi on the left. Storm the hill. We're not going to let them, we're not going to give it to them. The Freikor, ooh, they push forward first. Skirmish cavalry, it's the 4th Regiment of Horse. My foot, my heart is a firing round shot, which is completely fine. My free call go up first. Fire a volley into the Regiment of Horse. It's destroyed 8 of their number. Follow that up with a charge. Curious storm up the flank. I mean, these Maltese, they look good in their white coats, but they have no bayonets either. But then again, they have no research capabilities. Which means they are not able to use advanced firing drills. Push the flank. 
There we go. Fire by Rick present arms. So on and so on. These two units push around the hill. That's uh, another unit of cavalry routed. Bless them. My cavalry go for their cavalry. Actually, no, come after this cavalry. Although it looks like we might not necessarily have a choice. Try and set the fourth before they get to my Freikor. Didn't work. Go for the fourth. Let some of their units breaking on the left flank. Yeah, they just didn't really stand a chance. They fight better. They've got better, better trained men, better equipped. They just didn't really stand a chance. Storm into the centre. Now go after the regiment of horse. Try to get my general over here. See if we can claim a few free kills, gain some more experience. Go on, go after the regiment of horse. Okay, they've routed. Go after the first regiment. <laughs> yep. Just a bit of slaughter, but then again, they didn't really have much hope to begin with. So you men form up to defend against those chaps if they come back again. My general can go after the first. Cease fire all my artillery. So we're just after a bit of experience now. No general, wave off, wave off. You men push up. Yeah, so we're not after trying to kill them all for the sake of killing them all. We want to kill them to try and gain a bit of more experience for our cavalry and so on. There we go. Killed the enemy general. Go on, grenadiers. Form up. Reload. Yeah, they are after my general, but it's not going to uh, go their way. Because now my expats are involved. The lovely coats. Yeah, there they go as well. I thought they'd come back. Just a punt, but there they are. Okay, I think that's everyone. So, continue... He meant fire it will off. It would be useful, yeah. My general got an extra experience, Chevron. Just makes him a bit more sturdy in a melee should he need to go in. There we go. Everyone's slaughtering as many men as they can. Doesn't mean the garrison will likely just be full of, you know, good strength garrison troops, but we're not going to kill them all anyway. We may try, but we won't do it. Come on, ungroup. There we go. It's everyone against the first. Nice, and now it's all up to... Oh, there we go. They managed to either kill them or force them from the battlefield. So that's gone rather well. Now it's the Mughal Empire. So they're going to be the ones to watch out for, because we're going to be taking a lot of 
fire from them until our amphibious armies are ready. We've also got troops landing in Fort Nashwick. So these guys will need reinforcement too. So if you guys... Yeah, so this can, this can happen is when they they realise they don't have any... Sometimes they kind of realise, oh, actually, we can't get to where we need to get to. So you... Just give them an order to drive along the northern road. You've still got orders. I imagine you just couldn't pathfind. That was your trouble. So you're also going to get an order to follow the northern road. Persia has been brought to heal. So Esfahan's in good condition. So you could do with attacking these armies and driving them east. So let's build a coaching inn and a craft workshop. Will they force us to attack? No, they will not. Good. So you've all got your orders. Fleet is a very grandiose term for one ship. Let's just auto that action. Ooh, we actually lost a unit there. Destroy the gunsmith. They're going to have to stay here for a while anyway, so we might replace it with a native unit. Build a fur exchange, build cobbled roads. Good stuff. And then over in Malta. Because, yeah, you've effectively fought this action. Valetto is ours. So then when you guys are back up to full strength... We'll sail this army up to Iceland and take out the Marathas. The Mughals, rather, not the Marathas. Go on an upgrading spree. Not overly bothered about having military recruitment in terms of my harbours, but we may as well get them done. we got cash on the hip. Our upgrading ports will soon suck it out of us. We don't want to go too mad because we do still have things we need to do. Construction report, lots of good stuff. It's only really anywhere that's upgraded roads I want to make sure I get. Okay, so that's a fifth rate. So three fifth rates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, potentially, we need. To be honest, it might even be worth just recruiting you or making you an admiral. Just so you can say, right, I want third or on fifth rate ships of the line, please. Although all you're doing is just stacking them up from this fellow nearby. Which isn't really what we need, but it'll do. Letter of demands from Persia. Yeah, but they've soon got rid of that. A lot of ex a lot of um our troops are a lot of uh, our population actually uh, is actually shrinking because of devastation by enemy armies. Agent recruited Catholic missionary in Greece. Again, for the most part, I'm not overly bothered about making sure I... Oh, God alive, there's a bunch of them here. Galicia. Just keep giving them, just give them orders to run into the far corners of the Indian world. Uh, the last one, she has upgraded you to a craft workshop. Just send them forward. Yeah, 
everyone else generally has orders to continue. I believe you... Okay, let's take Mr. Muller out of Karki and replace it with a garrison force. So they too are now in the fight. Another one to drive along the northern road. It was a bit of a mistake making you go this way because it's just, <laughs> you're taking a long time to get through the wilderness. Workers on strike in Persia. Yeah, not anymore. They're not. Path blocked by Chris Traeger. Nope, that was the enemy. Surgeon. Interesting. He gains a bonus to his men replenishing after battle. So let's take the sloop out. Leopold Idler. Embark your army. I want to land you off the coast of Fort Nashwack. Let's put... okay, there is an enemy army nearby, so we're going to hold. I want to see if they attack us, because we'll get an extra turn of this army replenishing, which would be preferable, I think. Let's gather my navy back together in Newfoundland. Trades gained. Patriotic sword and confident general. Good stuff. Yes, when you're done, this army will attack Reykjavik. Then we can finally clear the island of Mughal Swine. And then continue our attack elsewhere. It's a bit unfortunate that you, you're sat here. Oh well, let's just keep on upgrading. Don't need to worry about recruitment yet in Bavaria, but if we can do it, that's where we are going to do it. Right, okie dokie. I think the one thing to do is take this force. Although, what have you, what have you actually got? A lot of native troops. Yeah, it will be fine. Let's attack and destroy this concentration of Persian troops and push them eastward. And that way we can begin to push out from our territory towards the Persian homeland, destroy the Persians, and then advance on into India, and then hopefully force them to commit just as our invasion force <laughs> that's going to land at Ceylon and at Bengal start to hit the shores from the east. Okay, I want this hill. So my guns are going to be limbered up for now. Five troops going to storm up front. You're going to storm up the right flank. You're going to storm up the left flank. The light infantry and desert warriors are going to follow up with my cavalry. I don't quite know where I want to be yet for the reinforcements. Storm uphill. You can bring my guns up behind. If they charge, we'll just drop in, drop into square. I am not at all afraid of skirmish cavalry. Ideally, they'll stop just before our line. Ah. Oh. Form up and engage them. That's where the bulk of the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. Yeah, you're not going to want to skirmish with us, fella. Push them away. You, these men 
drive around blank these men position to face off against the future enemy become the whirling dervishes oh these men have got a volley though oh no they don't counter charge You guys want to go here? Format. My guns are beginning to push up my light infantry and militia. Get out onto the right flank with all of my cavalry. Or do I want to send you guys into the rear of the dervishes just to make sure they definitely route fairly soon? Concerned because they're being attacked in the flank. You better be concerned. Camels are on their way in, so get ready. Someone's going to be forming square. I think it's going to be these guys. Come on, the dervishes are almost down. may have made us pay a price to kill them but we will we will pay it the new men push up to pour a volley into camel nomads at close range push my cavalry up to provide some extra firepower no extra firepower needed These units push up. Form square. Oh no. 21st Regiment. Make ready. Put a volley into the side of these camel nomads. Yeah, they did not like that. New men fall back. So then the men on our extreme flank fold in. Yeah, there go the camel nomads. My light infantry halt and fire at will to put a volley into the camel nomads. Oh, devastating. Friendly fire, yeah, that was good. Knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Let's put a volley in the side of my own Chevrolet Leger. Emen cease fire. Cavalry can form up again. Fire it will on. See, just waves, wave after wave. The gunners. It's not great piece of terrain, really, unless we can push forward and get them to be. You, see, you don't really want to move. Just stay here and loading and firing into the enemy. So you're okay. It's going to be all about the 31st Order. Push the militia up. Push my light infantry up. Run out my guns. Actually, you men push the general's bodyguard. You men go after the guns.
put a volley into the general's bodyguard. Take him down. Okay, let's see if we can get a bit more of a surround going. He been run down the 31st. He been run down the 16th. Just slaughter them. See, where are you going to face? You can't form square, can you, Kizobashi? No, they cannot. And they did not like that destruction. Light infantry at point blank range. Apologies, militiamen. Although they're going in, they don't give a damn. Oh, you're lucky. It's going to go into the 49th instead. No, they broke too. Attacking the Kizilbashi. You men face off against First Order. See, we chased off the camels. Nice. I think we're just going to speed up time now because there's only one enemy left. Should you go after the 49th? Let's get my general on the move. That's the only enemy unit left, although actually you guys are now. Camels is, is unfortunate. It's real unfortunate. It's another unit that's come back. And we have to continue and smash into them. General will go after the 34th. In general, though, just uh, speed up time and enjoy the fruits of the slaughter. Because however many we kill now is someone is a units we don't have to fight later on. They may well reconstitute. Go for the 49. Oh, actually go for the first instead. You both go after the 49th. They were home free, but they elected not to be. Come on, there's only six of them. Although, that means there's some of you somewhere else. Yeah. Everybody after the 16th. So who's going to lead the charge first? Make sure you're firing. Make sure everyone, all of my cavalry's fire will off. Because otherwise, that could be a bit of a disaster. We've caught up with them. It's only going to get worse. They're close, but they're not going to make it. No cigar. Yep, yeah, that was a nice victory. It cleared out those forces. It will drive them east. That's exactly the kind of thing we want to do. Back you go. You may replenish after a great victory. You just attack them and then probably just auto it, even though the wider damage it's going to do. Do it just to knock out some of these troops. So you're fully replenished. You guys are replenished. Oh, I don't have the money. Still, it means we can push up. Good. Okay. I mean, my generals and everyone's doing quite a good job. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
you guys all do have orders. Cool, let's hit enter. Let's allow everyone to shuffle on one more turn of movement. Hopefully, I'm hoping it won't be such a problem once everyone gets a bit closer to the battle line, because right now some of our fellows are a bit far away. <laughs> there go the priests. Coming to spread the word of God. All the 13 colonies push up to protect their friends? They did not. Interesting. The Mughal Empire was up to something. But they elected not to do it. Right. Yeah, I guess his pathfinding fell over. Lots of steam engine tech. I suppose we actually we haven't it hasn't been long since we've owned Moscow. And lots of these regions in eastern well not east eastern Russia in our perspective, but not in the grand perspective. Keep on upgrading. Good stuff. Don't say we don't do things for you. I'm pushing lots of troops along this northern route, but I think that's the way to do it. Don't let them bog us down. Go on, Balthazar. Storm towards Kabul. So you want to get visibility on the city. This agent can infiltrate Lahore behind it. You men start converting Kabul immediately. Good. You infiltrate Zahedan. You begin converting. Good. Just go for another auto resolve here. And you auto resolve this fellow. Excellent. So you give them an order just to push straight to the river. Give you an order to push towards the Heden. So you've got orders. You've got orders. Your path was blocked, but it's now been resolved. Everyone else still has good orders. Meanwhile, up here. Still the mess. Fifth rate recruitment. I'm not I'm not so bothered about that. Because when they're ready, it's going to go off. So let's... You're going to stay nearby. Keep rebuilding. Excellent, because we want to be benevolent rulers. We aren't just about conquering for our own personal gain. No, far from it. We want all to share in the riches of being a part of our empire. And that includes pretty much the whole bunch of building. Cool, cool, cool. So just push up. I just want to see if they do anything. Aggressive attacker for Balthazar Farber. Good stuff. But he doesn't, he doesn't care. He's pushing on towards Kabul. In terms of tech, nothing. Della. Got a lot of... I have so many men on the way. 
Right. End turn. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's going to take a bit of time to get all these things pushed forward where they need where we need them to be. But when we get there, my God. Oh, there's so much stuff we haven't spent. We haven't upgraded either. So many buildings. Ah, they are going to Sally. Cool. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for, with, for the first battle against the 13 colonies. And then once this action has been conducted, this force here will go on to strike the main... Uh, colonial force to the west which doesn't appear to be involved in this action so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time <laughs>